Hey guys, Cypren here. Uh, in today's video, I'll show you something uh, which may look simple, but actually it's uh, not so simple. It's absolutely, uh, it can be very annoying if you don't know how to do. And it's how, to, how do you install Python and how do you put that into the path of your uh, Windows computer? And especially, it's especially annoying on Windows. Uh, so let's take a simple scenario. Let's say that you have Maybe you have some kind of Python version, maybe an old one like 2.7 on your computer, and you would like to have Python 2.8 or 3.8, sorry, uh, install. But basically, when you type, so you would like basically to have when you type Python 3, it just pops, opens up Python 3. So you you keep your Python 2.7 version installed, but you have also Python 2. Uh, 3.8 or 3.7 install. So if you if you type like I did Python 3 and it's not installed, currently it will pop you up this window like install Python 3 from the Microsoft Store. So it's tempting just to click on get and install it in that way. Uh, I don't recommend that. I did in the in the past, but it's uh, not not always compatible with uh, all the Python modules from what I found out. For example, with a Jupyter Notebook, uh, if you try to use this version here, you'll have a lot of problems because this is automatically installed in the hidden folder on Windows, etc. And then, well, basically you'll get a lot of problems. So I, I recommend you do not install it in that way. So how, how do you install it? Well, first thing is go on uh, python.org website, go on download, uh, download the Windows version, and just click on the latest Python 3 release, like that. And if you go down, there is a table here, and you have several ways to install Python. So uh, you can either use the web-based installer or this one, the uh, executable install. So make sure you download the 64-bit installer and not the normal one. Well, depending on your computer. If your computer is 32 bits, well, obviously you need this one. Uh, my is a 64, so I'll, I will use this one, this installer, x8664, uh, click on it and install it. So, um, now you have something here, which is actually very important, add Python 3.8 to path. So if you check this button, it will automatically add it to your path um, at this install uh, location. So I will, on purpose, I will not select you th uh, select this one to show you how to do it manually, because uh, I think you will learn a lot from uh, doing it manually. And you'll know exactly how to change the path and where you can, you know, uh, and you know how to change the installation uh, location, for example. So uh, for example, let's install it where it just told me it wants to install it. And Let's suppose that I don't remember where I installed it because it's often the case. You click without really thinking about it and then it's installed somewhere and you just can't find it. Okay, so now it's installed and well, maybe you expect that it, it works right away. So let's try Python 3 yeah, and it's still not in the past. So that's why you don't see uh, anything here. So how, first, how do I find out where it was installed? Well, supposing that I forgot where uh, I put it. Um, and how do I put it in the past? Those are the two next uh, problems. So the easiest way I found to find out where it's installed is just to type idle and you will find idle uh, Python 3.8. So that's the name of the Python GUI. So open this one. And here uh, you see you have file and here you have a path browser. So open that. And here you can find out where uh, your Python has been installed. So it just tells you where uh, your Python install is. So it's installed in C, uh, app data, local programs, Python, Python 3.8. So let's open that. 
So this update folder is a hidden folder generally. So you may have to go in the view here and activate the hidden, hidden items. So you're able to view it. Click on that, click on that, and go to programs, Python, and here it is. So now what I advise you to do is to take it from here, just uh, control X, cut that, and just go in C and paste it. Uh, okay, it's opened here. So just close the prompt, close the shell here. Okay, and paste it in C, uh, in your C drive. So it, it will appear here. And the second thing is open that, and you see the name of the executable is python.exe. So um, I have another Python install at the same location, which is 2.7, if you look here, and the name is also python.exe. So uh, when you type in your command line Python, the basically your computer doesn't know which one you want. So the best way is just to change the name of the executable to python3.exe, like that. And now, now I have to go into my environment variables and add the path to, to this. So um, just copy this, this path, go uh, environment like that, edit the system environment variable, open the environment variable, go down the system variable and you have the path here, edit that. And you see my Python 2.7 is already registered like this. So do exactly the same, but add the 3.8 instead. So click a new one, paste the path to this, create a new one and this time uh, add, so yeah. Listen with the capital letter S script. Why not? Oh, is it script or scripts? Oh, it's scripts. Make sure you have the good folder name. Okay. And once you did all that, the magic should happen. Go into your common prompt, type Python 3, and now I have Python 3. And so exit the prompt. Type if you type just Python with on the three, you are getting Python 2.7. So now you have both versions installed, which is great. Uh, okay, and that's that's it. So I hope it was useful for you uh, to show you how to install manually uh, Python and how to put it into the path of your computer. I know this is a big uh, annoying problem for many people, and in the past I've searched methods to do that for hours without think without finding something very straightforward explaining how to do this. So here it is. Now there's only one remaining problem is that uh, if you try to do a pip three install, let's say, I don't know, matplotlib, for example, you want to install a Python module, which goes to this new Python three installation. Then you will get fatal error in launcher, unable to create process using, um, so it's still using the link of the previous directory in which it was installed. So the way to, to correct that is to use pip3. Uh, you have to change basically the, the install pass of pip. So for that, use the following, um, the following command, python 3 m pip install upgrade pip. And if you do this, it will basically reconfigure your uh, pip in reinstall it with the right um, in the right place. And now if I try again, pip3 install matplotlib. Now it's working. So don't forget this last step. So you're able to install any kind of Python 3 modules you want. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if it was useful for you, don't forget to put a like on the video. Thank you very much.